the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 7 got a heck of a facelift. Just look at this new cover screen. I think this looks sick and it's exactly what the Flip should have been from day one, including a camera feature that I'm so happy is finally here. Also, just look at that color. Oh my God. This, I mean, Samsung, you guys just nailed it with the colors this year. Imagine how I feel picking up this boring iPhone. Look at this. It, 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 it doesn't hit the same. The cameras haven't changed much from the Flip 6, but you know, since we now have the new chip, the Exynos 2500, we still do get improvements to the camera quality in terms of photos, and I honestly love this phone for taking photos. Do you wanna know why? Because say goodbye to low quality selfies. With most other phones, if you wanna take a selfie, what do you do? Well, you use the selfie camera, and obviously this little tiny camera is not gonna be as good as the rear cameras on any phone, really. So with this phone, the selfie camera is the rear camera. So your, your quality of photos for selfies is going to be dramatically better than using a typical selfie camera. And it's so easy to use. You just pull out this little square thing from your pocket. You swipe up on the camera and that's it. You can, you can do this and take a selfie. You can do a portrait, horizontal, video, whatever you want. Now, for all you video lovers out there, the Flip 7 now records in 10-bit HDR compared to 8-bit on the previous version. And what this means is that you'll get better shadow and highlight detail, as well as more accurate colors for when you're recording. I definitely recommend leaving this feature on, especially because your display can actually show you HDR. So if you're ever looking back on that video, it'll be nice and bright. The colors will pop the sky will pop with that beautiful blue it just looks so good if you if your phone records hdr leave it on it, believe me it'll, it'll look so much better you do also get some new features features like the auto frame which keeps you in the frame even if you walk around a little bit which is kind of perfect for recording some instagram stories using the cover screen and of course you do get some cool ai generation to really help you reimagine your photos in any way you like and I mean in any way you like. Whatever you want, you can do. <laughs> That's insane. Just don't do anything illegal. But then again, I'm not a lawyer, so I mean, don't sue me. Exclusive to the new Flip 7 compared to the Flip 6 is the Now Bar, which changes depending on what's happening. You can tap on it at any time to get some information about your day or if you have any meetings that day that you have to go to. You can think of it as your own little personal assistant, especially if you go out and you take a bunch of videos and photos that day. When you go home later that day, you click on it and then you can see like a little recap of your day. You can see the photos and the videos you've taken that day. Maybe if you want to kind of look back at it as you're laying in bed falling asleep. It's pretty cool. Not a huge feature, but it's nice. The cover display didn't only get bigger, but it's also brighter than the Z Flip 6. You now get up to 2400 nits of brightness, which is definitely bright enough to be seen on a super sunny day. The inside display also has that same brightness level as well to keep with consistency. And just like the Flip 6, the Flip 7's crease is barely noticeable. In fact, the crease on the Flip 7 is actually much less noticeable than the crease on the Fold 7. And again, just look at that color. I cannot, like, I, I just cannot. I can't. The previous Flip 6, it wasn't really all that consistent. The inside display was 120 hertz. The outside display was 60 hertz. The inside display was brighter than the outside display. But now, yeah, we do have 120 hertz on the cover display. So inside display, outside display, it's going to be identical. But something that you guys might want to look into is if you want to get this phone, do it now because you have, I think, 12 days left to pre-order the phone. And if you do pre-order, you save a whole lot of money. Right now, you can get up to $600 of instant trade-in or $150 off without a trade-in. You also get double the storage for absolutely free. And if you use my link and you order within 30 minutes, you'll save another $50. So I don't know why they put that 30 minute time limit on there. I don't know, ask them. But if you guys do want to save money, link down below in the video description as well as in the pinned comment. Again, there's roughly 12 days left. So if you want this phone, now's the time to get it. Now, I don't know if you guys knew this, it's kind of been a secret in the Samsung community, but the Flip 7 actually started going to the gym and it's now thinner than the Flip 6. Not by a lot, but hey, every waist size matters. 
right? Uh, but what I do know is that when it's closed, it is 13.7 millimeters thin. And when you open it, it's 6.5 millimeters thin. But you better start hitting the gym because it's one gram heavier than the Flip 6. 188 grams compared to 187 grams. So it is going to be a little workout to lift this bad boy. If you lift it enough, you'll get buff. Uh, that rhymed. Now I did totally glance over the fact that this phone is not using a Snapdragon 8 Elite chip like its big brother is, right? This is using the Exynos 2500. Now, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> when I first realized that this phone was gonna be Exynos, uh, Exynos 2500, not gonna lie, I was a little scared. I'm like, oh no, oh no. Because if you know, if you know anything about Exynos, well, let, let's just say you know what I mean. But to my surprise, nothing. This phone feels just as speedy as the Snapdragon 8 Elite chip on the Fold 7. No lags, no stutters, performance has been insane. And the, the, the thing that I was mostly worried about was overheating. Like, is this phone gonna overheat because of that Exynos chip? <laughs> Which, if you know anything about Exynos, they love to get warm, okay? But this phone, nothing. It, 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 if you didn't tell me it was Exynos, I wouldn't have known. This is a huge deal because with previous Exynos versions, I mean, they were, I'm sorry, Samsung, but not good. <laughs> People always favored Snapdragon, but now I can't say that there's a huge difference because I don't even notice any difference. Now, the crazy part is, is that the battery on the Flip 7 is actually pretty damn similar to the Fold 7. 4,400 milliamp hours, again, look at that color, compared to 4,300 milliamp hours. That's only a 100 milliamp hour difference, but the screen sizes are a huge difference. So what that means is that, yeah, you can say goodbye to the days of the Flip 7 barely lasting, or not the Flip 7, but the Flip series in general, not lasting the entire day, because this phone, surprisingly, again, because of that Exynos chip, I wasn't expecting this, the battery life is good. Like if you're worried about this phone not lasting you the entire day, like all the other flips out there before, you, you don't have to worry. This phone will easily last you throughout the entire day. By the way, I just noticed, it just looks like I'm holding up a piece of square. Like this doesn't even look like a phone. I'm so used to just holding up a phone when I'm talking about it, but this looks like a phone, you know? This looks like a square. <laughs> like that's so insane. I guess I'll just start holding it like this so at least you guys have something to look at. We also cannot forget about the Samsung software experience, which in my opinion, after reviewing, I don't know, I mean, I must have reviewed over a hundred phones on my YouTube channel by now. Samsung just always does it right. They may not give you the most amount of customization right, you know, straight out of the box without having to download anything. But when it comes to actual helpful features, Samsung does it best. Everything just seems so intuitive and you don't really have to ever guess on what to do and how to do it. Also not to mention the fact that, yeah, you have seven years of software updates with this phone. I think the only other Android brand doing that is Google, I think. There, there might be another one, but I'm pretty sure Google and Samsung are both equal at giving their customers seven years of software support on the Android side of things. I think for iPhone, it might be even less. I think it's six years or maybe it's also seven years. I'm not sure. But anyway, you have that going for it, whereas other uh, brands that are doing foldables, may, they're giving maybe three to four years of support and then they just cut you off. I don't know, this phone is just so fun to use and I think it's because of the cameras because, well, don't get me wrong, the cameras on the Fold 7 are much better than the Flip 7, but the ease of use of using these cameras kind of makes it even better than the Fold. Because again, it's all about one hand ability with this phone. You want to access the camera, you can either double tap the side button as we all have been doing for many years now, or swipe up on this little camera icon. You have access to a 50 megapixel camera literally in the palm of your hand. Like that's insane. You can take all the selfies you want, all the 4K, 8K video you want. It's kind of like your perfect little travel companion, especially if you're going on vacation, road trips, you know, stuff like that. Now I will be covering a whole lot more in my full review of this sweet little phone. So let me know down below in the comments what you guys want to know about this phone and I'll include it in my next video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely click that like button. It's free for you, but it helps me and the channel out a lot. And I always truly appreciate it. And if you're new here and you like no BS tech reviews, 
definitely subscribe. As always, this was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.